afternoon, YouTube. My name is Angel Wang, for you guys who do not know me. Um, this is my second video to YouTube. My second, my number two. Um, if you guys have not seen my first video, I suggest that you guys pause this and go watch my first video. But let me just jump right in the puddle on this thing. Today I'm going to be talking about Laura Ingram. Um, for you guys who do not know who that is, she is a a talk show news anchor host. I guess that's what you could call her. She gets paid to talk shit, you know, which is cool, I guess, if you like talking shit, but I guess. Basically, um, the whole reason that sh her name is trending right now is because of the shut up and dribble comment that she made to LeBron James and Kevin Durant after they were interviewed by ESPN uh, anchor Carrie Champion. I hope I'm saying your name right sir if I'm not I'm sorry. And he asked them how do they feel their role in NBA opens them up basically to political comments and to what's happening in the world. There's nothing wrong with that question. You can ask me that question and I'll give you a straight answer and if you don't like it, oh well, but it's my political views, my opinion. After he asked the question, LeBron James follows up and says that the climate is hot. <sniffs> Told you guys that this was gonna get spicy. And he follows up by saying that our leader, Donald Trump, Donald Bum Trump, He's supposed to be like the person that we look up to. He's supposed to be like our rock. And LeBron James says that he just does not give a fuck about the people, which I totally agree with. He does not give a fuck about the people. He wouldn't sit behind his damn desk all day and just be like, oh, I'm sorry about what happened and the shooting today. Oh, I'm sorry that everybody lost their loved ones lives i just i don't know what to do there's nothing that i can do this is out of my control this is not a gun issue this is a people issue and i'm just sorry for everybody who lost their loved ones my condolences we don't need that we got people that that's nobody's that give us that we don't need that we don't want that we want you to do something do something do something laura ingram let me just give you a little my opinion based background of shorty shorty grew up obviously you know had everything handed down to her and she grew up to be a trump butt licker she goes way further than kissing his butt she she's defending this man on public tv like she's just having this man's back she is kissing his butt like she's licking it but after lebron james said what he said she, I guess she took that and decided to run with it on the television network that she does, which I guess is called the Laura Ingram Show. You guys ever seen it? I have not seen it. She says for Kevin Durant and LeBron James to be NFL, NFL, I'm sorry you guys, NBA players giving their opinion on politics is basically like ludicrous. Basically, that's not word for word, but that's just a sum up of what Shorty said. She says that if they want to talk about politics, they are hopping in her quote unquote court, which is actually like her table and her chair with her piece of paper with the camera in front of her, that's her court. And she says that the comment that LeBron James made um, was an ignorant comment and that people will take that comment seriously. You're not gonna take what they say seriously. You watch Kevin Hart's comedy shows. You don't take anything that he says seriously. Go back and be like, Kevin Hart was talking about his daughter in a really, really, really bad way. Like, you don't do that. Entertainment is made for you to be entertained, obviously. It's in the name. Like, duh. So, you know, Laura came and um, she said some, some incorrect things about LeBron James that she shouldn't have said. Um, she said he has no right to talk about politics because he just gets paid a million dollars a year to dribble a ball. You get paid whatever you get paid to talk shit. So, I mean, if you really want to add it on an equivalent level, you talking shit, LeBron providing entertainment, you know, you like this. And if you go in a store and you ask somebody like, oh, hey, like, do you know who LeBron James is? Oh, yeah, I know. I know LeBron. Yeah, he got rings and shit. I know LeBron. Now, if you go in that same store, you'd be like, do you know who Laura Ingram is? Who? What'd you say? Who is that? That's exactly the response that you finna get because nobody know you, boo-boo. Girl, you just, you just had to get your little 15 seconds of fame 
by to at LeBron and it didn't work because you get in your fame but you get it in a negative way like I guarantee it's gonna be hella people outside your house you brought that upon yourself and then she carries on to talk about black unemployment and um violence in urban cities as well as school choice so just last wednesday it was that shooting at the parkland um high school in parkland florida that's what she should have been talking about instead of talking about lebron's comment people just talk about anything just to get their 15 seconds of fame and she did it and she did it the wrong way and i really feel bad for you because you know you finna have mobs outside your house which sucks People love LeBron. People will fight about LeBron. It's crazy bitches who will kill about LeBron. So you better watch out, Laura. People are crazy. I'm not gonna keep you guys here for like hours and hours just talking about the issue because honestly, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, Shorty's a douche. Shorty's stupid. She just sucks. And it sucks that she sucks because, you know, she sucks. Why do you suck so bad? But hey, man. What can I say? I'm just giving my opinion. That's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to provide you guys with the information and the entertainment. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the numerous adventures that we're about to go on because we're gonna go on many and many, many, many adventures. Um, I'm going to be actually getting into my first challenge next week. Um, you guys can be looking for that video on Tuesday. My backdrop should be coming pretty soon, probably by Monday, and I'm really excited for that. But yeah, you guys just stay beautiful, stay great, and remember that you're just great and can't nobody take that away from you subscribe right now just go ahead and do it so you can just get it out the way like do that subscribe give a subscription to me subscribe and turn on my notifications that's it best friends i'll see you guys next time